Snowbirds love to come to Florida to escape the winters, but where do Floridians go to escape the Florida heat? North Carolina. Hi, I'm Laura Garcia, a realtor in Jacksonville, Florida, and today I'm going to give you some questions to consider when purchasing a second home in North Carolina. First, you need to think of setting. So if you're buying a second home, you're typically going to go for something that's different or something you can't get from your primary residence. So mountain view, uh, privacy, forest view, streams, things that North Carolina has that typically your Florida residents would not. Once you determine what type of setting you want, then you'll think about budget. So budget is a little different with a second home. So there's first the budget to acquire the home, such as the purchase price, but then second, the cost to maintain it. When you have a second home versus a primary residence, it can feel burdensome to have two home expenses, such as insurance, maintenance, taxes, utilities. And so those are things you need to consider on what your personal budget can handle if you're purchasing a second home. Then you'll need to determine what are you gonna do when you're not there? So some people choose to get residual income through short-term rentals. If you're thinking of renting out the house, you'll need to pay attention to local laws and whether they allow short-term rentals, determine are you gonna use a property management company, um, how many people do you want to sleep in your second home to be able to maximize its income? Those are additional questions. But if you choose not to rent it out, when you're not there, you're gonna to need to have people that are able to access the property or check on the property to make sure, say after a snowstorm, that a limb didn't fall on the roof and or the pipes burst. So having that as a consideration on what are you gonna do with the home when you're not there is important. And lastly, amenities. So North Carolina is different than Florida. So if you're gonna get a great mountain view, you may be an hour away from the local grocery store or you may be outside the city center and have to drive your trash to the dump. If you don't wanna drive your trash to the dump, you maybe want, maybe want to be in a more of a country club setting, but that's gonna have a price, higher price tag. So thinking through those amenities and what realistically that lifestyle would look like for you are important. So once you've considered all these questions, you'll probably start narrowing down different areas of North Carolina that may work for you and your budget and your lifestyle choices. Um, a local agent is a great resource to make sure you invest in the right area and get good price appreciation.